I have the most important thing that's going to happen this year. I'm going to tell you right now, the Apple iPhone 8 has been released and it's available only, only in, China. in China. I'm only joking. This is a paper offering which Chinese people burn during Qingming Festival as a gift to their ancestors. It's got 168 gigs of memory, Wi-Fi, all the regular apps you know, even takes compact disc. You can see it right there, guys. Today I'm going to be asking some questions to find out what people from other countries know about Qingming Festival. And I'm also going to be trying to find out if they celebrate any similar festivals and how they celebrate their ancestors. Do you know what this is? It's an iPad. iPad. An iPad. I have no clue at all. I have no idea. <laughs> Master. <laughs> Please tell me. They burn it. They, it's supposed to be the present to their relatives to die. The mixing of development with Chinese culture. You're clever, man. I am. Oh! Do <laughs> you still know the iPad 8? I have a Xiaomi. It's pretty good. We can still use it, but they can use it there. We feel like they can use it more than us. We don't know how to use it. How to use it is the same. The most important thing is we remember them. Like even in India, sometimes culture doesn't have logic. We have something. We think this is good or this is good. We also want to give it to them. The previous Apple iPad didn't have. You've stolen my Apple iPad. I actually know nothing about the festival. Yes. No. Nope. His eyes are so big. The eyes are so big. Yeah, Qingming Jie. Chinese traditional Jie. I know it's about like tomb sweeping. Tomb sweeping. Tomb sweeping festival. Um, it's about respecting your ancestors. You're supposed to give notes and crackers and money, fake money. But in the past, they used to give proper gold coins. Show to the next generation that they still care about their historical heritage and show that China is a great country going forward and it because it has been a great country in the past already. In my country, we celebrate it with a different with a drink. We do a, a special drink in that day. You drink this thing and remember that that was the blood of the people that always get to unite. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. So that's the Day of the Dead. Yeah. Around this time we have Easter. No, no. Because I'm a Muslim, so right. for us we don't really have those kind of things. In Germany, we usually do not burn stuff for them. They will gather around with the whole family and then eating. Of course, for sure, like here in China. Um, they do in November, just going to the cemetery and yeah, praying for them on their thumbs, I guess. Okay, it should okay. be like this. It should be like this, but nowadays, not that popular. Well, maybe a picture of George Clooney, maybe. So I, can get, I could get a George Clooney in heaven, that would be great. <laughs> Like a skateboard, you could burn some books for me. <laughs> In heaven, food. A few beers, maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe a PlayStation or something. Yeah, I, I said know. that. Yeah, play some FIFA. Yeah, perhaps some bread. Some nice, fresh, crispy bread. You've brought back so many memories. I want yeah. to eat English bread so much. Yeah, bread, butter, Bailey's, bacon. Anything. <laughs> Actually, I don't believe on, in life after someone dies. I mean, I don't believe it, so I will not ask for nothing. So it depends on the situation there. If we have to do like lots of traveling, I, I might need a car. I believe in Hinduism. Okay. So there are two levels of heaven. The first one is where you're stuck in your karma. Yeah. Keep taking birth, keep dying. But the other one is where you escape karma. So you're beyond family and everything. Oh. <laughs> you're beyond. The way in which every country pays respect to their ancestors is different. I think it's a really mix of celebrating life, but also paying respect to the passing of life that is so amazing and is inherent in all the cultures of the world. <laughs>